The museum was in beautiful space at 48 Wall Street. And we can't, we get, the phone rings one day, and we are told that there has been a flood because a pipe burst on a floor above the museum and water came down through a couple of floors ending up in the museum ground floor and the museum uh, subground floor space. At that time, I, I heard this news and I was pretty worried because my Hamilton collection was on view in the museum at that moment. So when David got to the museum, he saw the Hamilton, uh, the Hamilton uh, display and the water from the flood was on top of the display case but it had not gotten into the display case. So it was taken away, the objects came back to me, the museum could not let anybody in, so the museum was without an exhibit space, and all of the museum objects and belongings went into storage, and they remained there, and lots of time went by, years. And the landlord said, you know, you guys have to pay us rent. And the museum said, uh-uh, we can't occupy the space. We're not paying any rent. And that eventuality, this flood, was like a gift to the museum because it enabled us to extricate the museum from a very unfortunate lease. And we were able to save $5 million in lease payments to the end of the lease by having the museum uh, extricated from the lease. Well, that was uh, a, a red letter moment for the museum. However, we don't have any uh, physical display sp uh, space right now because of that. In the meantime, we were still a museum. We wanted to do something as a museum is supposed to do. So the museum staff called around the city where could we have one of our personal presenters who is going to talk about some important subject, where, where could we have that event? And the Gabelli School at Fordham was one of the places that the museum called. And Gabelli said, yes, you can come up here. And they had gorgeous space. And it was, it was a princely place for the museum to be. And after a few of these events, the Gabelli School said, we love you. And they said, they, they made us their partners. And I thought, wow, this is from the one above that an organization like Fordham, with all of that goodwill, in a place that people would go to in Midtown without any problem. And when they got there, it was a gorgeous facility. I said, we, we, it doesn't get any better than that. And they have become a very important um, partner of the museum. Then uh, the museum had also had a thing called the Museum Finance Academy for high school students. Uh, a course was created 
that gave high school students uh, information that they needed. When we would announce that that course was ready for applicants, <laughs> within hours, all the places were filled. And it was a very successful uh, program. And because of that, and because we realized that older folks also would love to know something that they didn't know, the museum created a course with the partner of the New York Public Library. It doesn't get any better than these partners that we were able to be with. And the course is taught by various individuals over the course of the summer. And this last summer, this is the second year that, this year is the second year that the course has been available. This summer, 3,000 people took the course. That's a lot of people. That is a, a wonderful result. And it obviously is very popular. And I am hoping that as the museum goes forward, that uh, initiative will end up as a national offering. Increasingly, because of COVID, uh, the national audience has become accustomed to the Zoom phenomenon. So that information of this sort, which has been shown to be desirable and wanted by the audience, and with the partnership of the New York Public Library, that's a pretty impressive uh, announcement. And I think that, that the, it's possible that that can become a national offering and that would fit perfectly into my lifelong desire to speak to enhancing the understanding of Americans of finance and the capital markets. And I think the museum has a a oh, splendid future, and and uh, this subject is one for which we have only scratched the surface. There is so much opportunity for the museum to prosper in the years ahead. We will work on the endowment fund. We. We will love to have other participants in the endowment of the museum in order to accomplish this enhancement of American understanding of finance and the capital market. I am certainly going to contribute to that, and the museum would welcome others too. We think that it is a very good thing for, for organizations to do, especially the Wall Street firms whose future depends on the understanding that Americans might have about opportunities in the stock market.